Okay, so here we've got a lot of parallel lines, we've got an isosceles triangle going on, and sometimes with these questions, um, there's a lot going on, and you just need to kind of strip it back and think, right, what part of this question do I need? Now, my answer to this question is definitely not going to be the only one. Um, there are multiple ways of doing this question. I'm going to show you what I think is the easiest, but you might disagree, which is absolutely fine. So if we have a look at these lines here, then you can see that they are um, angles in parallel lines. We're looking at the two red ones going diagonally. Um, we're ignoring the bottom parallel line because we're not using the top one for this. And these two angles here, the 62 degrees and this one, are corresponding because they make F angles. And the way I remember it is cor F ponding. The reason why I've highlighted what it's called is, although on the website uh, and on OnMaths, you're not asked to write down um, the, the reason for it. In the exam, you will be, you will have to write down the reason for why this is 62 degrees. And the reason is because they're cor s bonding, and I remember it as cor f bonding. Um, I remember the z angles as alls turn it. I just bung a z in there. Um, that's just the way I remember it. And the other one is interior, co-interior, allied, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so you need to write down the fact that CDE, so let's so angle CDE equals 62 degrees because corresponding. Okay. Right, now angle DCE, this one here, will also be 62 degrees. So angle DCE also be 62 degrees okay and this this time it's because it's the bottom two angles in an isosceles triangle are always equal now by bottom I always imagine isosceles being like this okay so it's always the bottom two clearly that isosceles is not like that but in my head an isosceles is always this way up with the two uh, equal lengths left and right so it's the bottom two are always equal so that's going to be 62 as well. So to work out angle C E, oh sorry, angle D E C, um, that's what it says in the question. So angle D E C is going to be 180 take away 62 times 2. And the reason for that is uh, angles in triangle add up to 180 degrees. And never feel like you're writing too much for the reasons. There are some key words uh, in the marker schemes that are in bold that um, the marker's going to be looking for. Um, so corresponding being one of them and isosceles being the other. Um, and angles in triangle. Um, don't draw a triangle, just write the word triangle. I'm trying to save time, although having discussed it, I've probably not saved much time. <laughs> okay, so that's going to be 62 times 2. Well, 60 times 2 is 120, so it would be 124. And then when you take that away from 124, you're going to get 56. Okay, so the angle is going to be 56 degrees.